Picture this, a spacecraft, launched when Star Wars first hit theatres, floating through the darkest reaches of space, 15 billion miles from home. This is Voyager 1, and it just did something remarkable. After months of sending jumbled, unreadable messages back to Earth, this ancient explorer recently achieved what many thought impossible. It started talking to us again, and here's the kicker. It did it using a backup system that hadn't been used since 1981. Think about that for a moment. A piece of technology built in the 1970s, dormant for over 40 years, just sparked back to life in the cold depths of interstellar space. It would be like finding your grandparents' old radio in the attic. And not only does it still work, it picks up stations from another galaxy. But before we dive into this incredible comeback story, let's understand just how far Voyager 1 really is. If you were to travel at the speed of light, that's 186,000 miles every second, it would still take you 22 hours to reach Voyager and come back. Even a simple hello message takes 21 hours to reach the spacecraft, and another 21 hours for its response to return to Earth. Launched in September 1977, Voyager 1 has been pushing the boundaries of space exploration for over 45 years. It's the first human-made object to enter interstellar space, the vast void between star systems. Think of it as our first pioneer in the frontier beyond our solar system's borders. This spacecraft is truly a marvel of human engineering. With less computing power than a modern kitchen appliance, just 69.63 kilobytes of memory, it's been faithfully executing its mission for nearly half a century. That's less memory than it takes to store a single smartphone photo today. But in 2023, something went wrong. While Voyager 1 was still sending signals back to Earth, they were scrambled, like trying to read a book where all the pages had been torn up and reassembled randomly. The spacecraft's vital signs, its telemetry data, had become unreadable. For NASA's engineers, this was a critical problem. Voyager 1 isn't just any spacecraft. It's our eyes and ears in a region of space no human-made object has ever visited before. Every bit of data it sends back is precious, telling us something new about the universe beyond our solar system. The stakes were high. Could NASA's team find a way to restore communication with this distant explorer? The answer would lie in the ingenious design choices made by engineers nearly 50 years ago. Now, let's talk about what it takes to communicate with a spacecraft that's literally pushing the boundaries of human exploration. The signal Voyager 1 sends back to Earth is incredibly weak. About a 10 quadrillionth of a watt. That's billions of times weaker than the power needed for a digital watch. To catch these whisper-quiet signals, NASA uses its deep space network. Massive radio antennas spread across the globe. These giant ears, some as large as a football field, strain to hear Voyager's faint voice from across the cosmos. When the problem started, Voyager's flight data system, think of it as the spacecraft's central nervous system, was packaging data in a way that made no sense. It was like receiving letters in an unknown language. The spacecraft was trying to talk, but we couldn't understand what it was saying. That's when NASA's engineers had a brilliant idea. They remembered something about Voyager's design, a backup command pathway that hadn't been used since 1981. Imagine finding an old instruction manual in your basement that holds the key to fixing a modern problem. The challenge. This backup system had been sitting unused in the harsh environment of space for 42 years. Would it still work? Could they even remember how to use it? The team had to dig through decades-old documentation, written when many of today's engineers weren't even born. They were about to attempt something unprecedented, remotely activating a backup system across 15 billion miles of space using technology designed during the disco era. Against all odds, it worked. The backup system, dormant for over four decades, responded to commands and began functioning perfectly. This wasn't just a technical victory. It was a testament to the incredible engineering of the 1970s NASA team. Think about that for a moment. A system designed when calculators were cutting-edge technology just saved our most distant explorer. It's like starting a car that's been parked in a garage since Ronald Reagan's first year as president and finding out it runs perfectly. This success means Voyager 1 can continue its unique mission. Right now, it's swimming through the interstellar medium the sparse soup of particles and magnetic fields between stars. Every day it sends back information about an environment no human-made object has ever visited before. 
the data travels slowly, at just 160 bits per second. That's about 15,000 times slower than your home internet connection. But every bit of information is precious, telling us something new about the space beyond our solar system's borders. Looking ahead, Voyager 1 still faces challenges. Its power source, fueled by radioactive plutonium, grows weaker each year. By around 2025, it may no longer have enough energy to operate its instruments, but until then it continues to push the boundaries of human exploration. This story of Voyager's revival is more than just a technical achievement. It's a reminder of human ingenuity, the value of backup plans, and the incredible durability of well-designed technology. A spacecraft launched when Jimmy Carter was president, when the first Star Wars movie was new in theatres, continues to function and communicate with us across vast distances of space. As Voyager 1 sails deeper into the unknown, it carries with it not just scientific instruments, but humanity's endless desire to explore and understand our place in the cosmos. Each signal it sends home is a reminder that even the most distant of human achievements can find their way back to us, sometimes using paths laid down decades ago. The journey continues, and with it, our understanding of the universe expands, one signal at a time.